Amen, amen. God bless everybody. Uh, thank you guys uh, for inviting me today. Muchas Can everyone hear me good? Gracias por invitarme. Can everyone hear me good? Si me escuchan bien? Yes, no? Si, no? Maybe some more juice in the mic. I'm not a, I'm not a yeller like Pastor Rob. Yo no le estoy gritando al pastor. Amen, amen. God bless you. All right. So while we're getting the mic set up, I want to read from Romans chapter 4, verse 17, so we can stand to our feet while we, we receive the word of God. Vamos a leer la palabra de Dios en lo que arreglan el sonido. Vamos a leer Romanos 4, capítulo 4, versículo del 17 al 26. Romans chapter 4, verse 17 says, As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations, in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. In hope, he believed against hope that he should become the father of many nations as he had been told. So shall your offsprings be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old. Or when he considered the bareness of Sarah's womb, no unbelief made him waver concerning the promises of God. But he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. That is what his faith was. Count, that is why his faith was counted to him as righteousness. In verse 23, it says, But the words it was counted to him were not written for his sake alone, but for all, ours also. It will be counted to us who believe in him, who raised from the dead Jesus our Lord, who was delivered up from our trespasses and raised for our justification. Father, we come before you, Lord, and we just thank you because you are a mighty God. I thank you because what you're doing in this house today. I thank you because you're up to something, Lord. I praise your name, O Lord, and I pray that you may have your way. Speak words of life into this place, O Lord. Speak words of blessing into this place today, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, and the people of God say, Amen. Amen. You can be seated. Uh, I want to introduce myself. Um, I know it's been a few years uh, since I've been on this stage. Uh, so I just want to say, my name is Hector Quiles. Uh, I'm known as Pito around these neck of the woods. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I've got my lovely wife in, in the front, Janet. If Janet, you can sit, stand up. She doesn't like to be put on the spot. Me gustaría presentarme con ustedes. Mi nombre es Hector, Hector Quiles. Desde hace algunos años que no estoy aquí, pero aquí estoy nuevamente. Y mi hermosa esposa está de pie, Janet. And my daughter, you met Emily, and Isaac was the beautiful little boy that you met there in offering. Mi chiquita Emily y el bebé que estuvo aquí también es mi hijo, Isaac. Let me start this off by saying God is up to something. Déjenme empezar esto diciendo que Dios está a punto de hacer algo. Throughout worship, I just kept saying, God, I don't know what you're up to. Durante la adoración, solamente yo estaba sintiendo y pensando, Dios, ¿qué es lo que vas a hacer? But I recognize that you're up to something today. I, I say that, I say that because it's important that you set the tone in your heart right now to say, God, I recognize that you're up to something today. So the verse that we just read is Paul speaking to a group of people. Es Pablo, a un grupo de and he's using Abraham, y está Abraham as an example como un of faith. De faith. He's using Abraham, está Abraham as an example como un so that the people para que la gente can identify lo puede with Abraham's faith. Con la fe de Abraham. It's a tangible example of God's promise, de las promesas de Dios. and if you stick with God, y si te con Dios, He will deliver. Él las va a, dar. a lot of us are waiting on a promise from God. De las de Dios. A lot of us are waiting on a word from God. De esa de Dios. A lot of us are waiting on a breakthrough from God. De ese por parte de Dios. And if 
you're like me, y si tú eres como yo, you might feel like you're in the waiting room of God. How many of you guys like hanging out in the waiting room of a hospital? Ah, uh, yeah, right? Feels like you're waiting forever. And, and you see people get up and they go in. And you're like, man, when is it my turn? And a lot of times, if you're like me, I like to get there 15 minutes early. And, and your appointment's at 3 o'clock. And 4.30 comes around. Y luego las y media llega. And you're like, what's going on? Y yo digo, ¿Qué está Some of us are in the waiting room of God. De en ese de What do you do? ¿Qué hacen? You're waiting on the promise of God. En las de Dios. Waiting on healing. Una waiting on restoration. Espera, una waiting on a word. Waiting on a word. And one by one, you see people walking up and walking in. What do you do? Church, we're all here in some way or another because we believe in the promise of the Lord. Amen. My challenge to you is simple. Stay focused. Don't give up. No se Don't quit. No se vayan. The, pro the promises are yes Las son sí and amen. Y amen. It might not be today. Puede ser que hoy. It might not be tomorrow. Puede ser que no hoy, o no But if you keep your faith in God, Pero si tu fe en Dios, if he said it, si lo dijo, he will deliver. So we go to Genesis chapter 12, Entonces, vamos a Genesis 12. verse 4. And at that time, Abraham was known as Abram. En ese tiempo, Abraham era como Abraham. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot to his brother's sons, and all their possessions, possessions that they had gathered, and the people that they had acquired in Haran, and they set out to go to the land of Canaan. Let me tell you something, church. In Genesis chapter 12, God speaks to Abraham. And in Genesis chapter 12, verse 4, Abraham picks up and he goes. He heard the word. La palabra, he got his people. Su gente, he walked in faith. Y en fe. There was no mention of negotiation in those scriptures. No hubo de en esas God, are you sure? Dios, ¿estás God, I'll go if Lot goes. Dios, yo voy si Lot va. God, Sarai is really old. Are you sure that we're supposed to go out on this? Abraham's faith was on display in those moments. He grabbed his people. His people grabbed him. And they followed the call of the Lord. Church, I want to tell you. Watch your circle. Watch who's around you. Watch who you allow to have influence over your life. Who you allow around you might determine whether you make it to your destination. Surround yourself with like-minded people. That will encourage you and correct you. So a lot of us like to hear the encourage part. 
very few of us like to hear the correct part. Pero a, poquitos nos gusta que nos a true friend will tell you when you're right yeah. un amigo te dice estás and bien. when you're wrong. Y estás mal. A true friend is going to tell you when you're making a good decision un buen amigo te va a decir estás una buena or a bad decision. Like-minded does not mean yes men. No solamente repetir, sí, sí. You need someone that's going to encourage you que te and educate you. Y que te If they tell you si te dice, you don't look good with what you're wearing, no te ves muy bien con lo que te hoy. that's a good friend. Ese es un buen amigo. Because they're not afraid to tell you the truth. They'd rather see you look good than look like a fool. The same is true spiritually. A good friend will tell you what you're doing is not okay because spiritually you might be wearing the wrong outfit. You might be out here doing the wrong things. And God places people in our lives to encourage and to educate. You need someone that, that won't let you settle. You need someone that won't let you quit. You need someone to tell you, slow down. You're moving too fast. You're going the wrong way. Let's pray about this. Hey, are, are you okay? Are you really okay? Because a true friend won't stop when you say, I'm fine. No, no, are you okay? Are you really okay? We all go through seasons in life. Todos vamos por en la vida. Sometimes in our circle, a veces en círculo, we're the encourager. Ya sea que nos and sometimes, y a veces, we need to be encouraged. Somos los que the encourager says, don't stop. El que te dice, no pares. The encourager says, remember God's promise. The encourager says, let me pray for you. The encourager says, that's not a good idea. The encourager says, don't give up. The encourager says, hey, let's get out of here. We don't belong here. And sometimes, you need to be the one encouraging. And sometimes, you need to be encouraged. In Ecclesiastes 3, en Ecclesias 3, Ecclesias 3, 3, verse 11, ver, uh, versículo 11, he says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. God is making everything perfect in time. And sometimes we don't know what's going on. A, a veces no sabemos qué está pasando. And sometimes we don't know why things happen. Y no sabemos por qué las cosas pasan. I, my sister-in-law Diana was up here singing. Uh, mi, mi cuñada Diana estaba aquí cantando. And she hit, she hit on something that she said, I see the rain. Y ella dijo algo, ¿verdad? Dijo, yo veo la and lluvia. That, and that's always a reminder on my heart. Y esto es siempre un, un recordatorio a mi corazón. When I hear that, cuando yo escucho eso, it's an encouragement es una palabra de motivación para that mí. God is in the middle of something. Que Dios está en medio de algo. I have to have faith. Y yo tengo de tener fe. I remember a couple of years ago, yo hace un par de años, I was going through a rough time in my life. And I shared in, the, in that week, y yo lo compartí esa semana, in the middle of the storm, en la, um, la mitad de la tormenta, or I should say in the middle of the drought, And we had set up, a, 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 we were selling our home, and, and it was a mess. And, and we, we went from this beautiful condo 
Nos fuimos de este hermoso condominio. So, so living with my, my mother, a vivir con mi mamá, who I love and she supported us. If you hear this, I'm not, you know, I love you, mom. But in that moment, I couldn't understand what God was up to. This will be a testimony of my life for the rest of my life. Este sería un testimonio de mi vida. Where I didn't know what was happening. En el que yo no sabía que estaba pasando. We were losing money on top of money on top of money in that moment. Estábamos perdiendo dinero y dinero en ese momento. I was swallowing my pride. Estaba aguantándome mi orgullo. And taking my wife and my daughter. Y agarrando a mi esposa y a mi hija. To, to live in, in, in someone else's home. En la casa de alguien más. And I didn't know what God was up to at the time. And I remember one day just being at work. And a song came upon my heart. I see the sign of an abundant rain. I see the sign of an abundant rain. And I was working. And I was singing this. And God was just saying, I've got this. You, you, you might just see the desert. But the rain is coming. If, you, if you've been around me and my family. Do you remember what I used to say? When we would collect offering. We're blessed. To be a blessing. Para ser de bendición. We're blessed. Estamos bendecidos. We're blessed. Estamos realmente bendecidos. I say this y digo esto to say para decir, in that moment I had no idea what was happening. En ese momento no tenía idea que estaba pasando. But God had me. Pero Dios me tenía. Ecclesiastes 3. Ecclesiastes 3. He knows his timing. Él sabe el tiempo. There are many people in this room today. Hay mucha gente en este, en este cuarto el día de hoy. You're in the waiting room. Están en el tiempo de you espera. see the desert. Ven el desierto nada más. You remember God's promise. Recuerdan las promesas de But Dios. you don't see it happening. Pero no, si no las I pasando. see the sign of an abundant rain. Veo la señal de una lluvia I abundante. see the sign. Veo of an abundant rain. You might be in the desert. But don't give up hope. The promise. The destination. There's a journey. Abraham took that journey. Stay faithful in that. So in your circle. Entonces, en su círculo, you're the encourager o tú eres el que motiva, and sometimes you need to be encouraged y a veces tú necesitas que te motiven. watch your circle Fíjense bien con quién andan. if you're always the encourager si tú solamente eres el que está motivando, and never they're encouraged y nunca te motivan a ti, it's time to reevaluate the circle es tiempo de que revalúen su círculo de amistades. perhaps what you think is a friend Puede ser que lo que tú crees que es un amigo is just a groupie. Solamente es un amiguito, un amiguero. A friend un amigo will lift you up. Te va a levantar. A groupie un cualquier amigo will tell you what you want to hear. Te va a decir lo que tú quieres oír. A friend un amigo will deposit into your life. Va a depositar en tu vida. A groupie cualquier otra persona will always take and never give. Te va a tomar, pero no te va a dar. A friend Un amigo will pray for you. Va a, orar por ti. a groupie Los amiguitos will gossip about you. Va a hablar de ti. Church, Iglesia. are you surrounded by friends? ¿Están rodeados de amigos? Are you surrounded by groupies today? O solo de amiguitos. Evaluate your circle. Evalúen su círculo. Church, Iglesia. are you a friend? ¿Son ustedes amigos? Or are you a groupie? ¿O son amiguitos? Quiet, huh? Sorry. Está muy calladito, ¿no? The body of Christ has no need for groupies. 
El cuerpo de Cristo no necesita amiguitos. Only friends that will encourage. Solamente amigos que nos motiven. Only friends that will advance you. Solamente amigos que estén con nosotros. Only friends that will advance this kingdom movement. Solamente amigos que nos ayuden a avanzar al reino de Dios. James chapter 2 verse 23 says, You see that faith was active along with his works, and faith was completed by his works. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness, and he was called a friend of God. Lo, lo pueden leer en Santiago 2, 20, de 22 al 23. Church, does God call you a friend? Iglesia, Dios los llama amigos? A friend of God stays faithful. Un amigo de Dios se mantiene fiel. God, I don't know what is going on, Dios, yo no sé lo que está pasando, but I'll go where you're calling me. Pero yo voy a donde tú me llames. God, I don't know how, no sé cómo, but you got me through it last time. Pero tú lo hiciste la vez pasada. So you'll get me through it this time. Entonces, tú lo vas a hacer otra vez. God, you called me here. Es, me estás llamando hoy. So here I go, God. Bueno, pues aquí voy. I don't care what it will cost me. No me importa lo que cueste. I don't care who it will cost me. No me importa quién me cueste. My confidence is in you, Lord. Mi co mi confianza está en ti. My identity is in you, Lord. Mi identidad está en ti. Lead me like you led Abraham. Dirígeme como lo hiciste con Abraham. Family. Um, uh, familia. Get up, it's time to go. Levántense y es tiempo. God is calling us to a higher place. Dios nos está llamando a un lugar más alto. Friend, amigos. I just want to tell you solamente les quiero decir that God is telling me I need to pray for you. Pueden decir, so, Dios me está diciendo que necesito orar por ti. I don't know what it is today. Yo no sé lo que soy. But you've been on my mind. Pero tú has estado en mi mente. So I'm reaching out here today. So yo me quiero acercar a ti hoy. To say don't give up. Para decirte no te rindas. So we've seen Abraham's reaction. Entonces vimos la reacción de Abraham. He hears the, 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 the calling from God. Escuchó el llamado de Dios. The promise. La promesa. Three verses later he gets up, he goes. Uh, tres versículos después. And then he, fue. And he also followed the plan. Y siguió el plan. We see the action. Si ven la acción. We see the plan. El plan. You're doing good. She's doing good, right? <laughs> She's doing good. <laughs> you get action. La acción. And then you get the plan. Y haces el plan. A lot of us. Muchos de nosotros. Like to act. Como Lot. But we don't like to plan. Oh, pero, sorry. Pero no nos gusta. Nos gusta escuchar, pero no nos gusta planear. You can't have one. No puedes tener algo without the other y sin tener lo otro. and I'll tell you why in a second y te voy a decir algo. it's important that you know who you are es que tú sepas quién tú eres. and that you have an identity in Christ y que tu en Dios. who are you church ¿Quién tú eres, iglesia? what are you called to do ¿A qué estás llamado, what, where are you called to go ¿A dónde estás llamado a ir? when Abraham left Cuando Abraham se fue, he left with a group se fue con un grupo that included his wife, que incluía su esposa, Sarai, su esposa Sarai, and his nephew, y su sobrino, Lot. Lot. Abraham stayed faithful. Abraham estuvo fiel. Said, "Come with me." Les dijo, "Vámonos." We're gonna go. Vamos a ir. Here's the plan. Este es el plan. He had a plan. Tenía un plan. He was a father of nations. Era llamado a ser el padre de naciones. He had a plan. Tenía un plan. God, you said it. Dios lo dijo. So I'm going to go. So yo voy. God, you promised. Dios, tú prometiste. So I won't give up. So yo no me rindo. God, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Yo no sé cómo lo voy a hacer. But I'll stay faithful. Pero yo voy a estar fiel. God, you called me. Dios, tú me llamaste. Here we go. Aquí vamos. Come on, family. Vamos, familia. Here we go. Vámonos. Come on, nephew. Su sobrino. Here we go. Vámonos. Come on, wife. Vámonos, esposa. Here we go. Aquí nos vamos. He remembered the promise. Él recordó la promesa. At some point, a un punto, Lot, Lot and Abraham, y Abraham went their separate ways. Se separaron. In, the, in the scripture, I'm paraphrasing. 
en la escritura estoy parafraseando but he said you go left and I'll go right él dijo tú vas a la derecha y yo voy a la izquierda or if you go right I'll go left o tú vas a la izquierda y yo voy a la derecha but right now we're, we're too blessed we gotta split this up pero estamos tan bendecidos ahorita que nos tenemos que separar so Abraham goes his way so Abraham fue a su camino and Lot goes his way y Lot a otro lado remember Abraham acted recuerden Abraham actuó and he had a plan y tenía su plan Lot grew up with Abraham Lot creció con Abraham he had a great example tuvo un gran ejemplo of what faithful men look like lo que era la fe de un hombre so Abraham leaves Lot entonces Abraham dirigió a Lot they go their separate ways después se separaron and Lot settles down y Lot se estableció in a place where he shouldn't have settled en un lugar donde él no debió haberse establecido Abraham keeps getting up Abraham se siguió and he kept moving y siguió avanzando he said I, I'm not going to plant my, my base here y él dijo yo no voy a estar con mi familia aquí I'm going to keep moving voy a seguir caminando the promises of the Lord en, confiado en las promesas de Dios father of nations padre de naciones blessings of God bendiciones de Dios but Lot settles in a place called Sodom y Lot se quedó en un lugar llamado Sodoma he, he had no business there no tenía que estar ahí Sodom was a good or, or Lot was a good man Lot era un buen hombre he was a faithful man era un hombre de fe también but he settled in Sodom pero se estableció en Sodoma he made a family in Sodom llevó a su familia allá he dug roots in Sodom puso sus raíces en Sodoma the Bible says that Sodom was a place of pride la Biblia dice que ese lugar era un lugar de orgullo and I'll, and I'll paraphrase here a perversion y voy a parafrasearlo de perversión and Sodom y Sodoma was a place that we know sabemos que era un lugar ended up being a place of destruction que era un lugar de destrucción Second Peter says that Lot was vexed and I'll explain what that means It uh, means troubled. En segunda de Pedro dice que Lot estaba uh, atribulado. So it says that Lot knew that this was in the right place. So significa que él sabía que este era no era el lugar correcto. But he tried to make it work. Y estaba preocupado uh, para que funcionara. Oftentimes in our journey. A veces en nuestra en nuestra jornada. From promise. De la promesa to destination, al destino, we end up settling in a place en un lugar that we have no business in being in. Que no estar Does that make sense, church? ¿Sí tiene para From promise de la promesa, to destination, al destino, we end up losing focus of the destination. El en nuestro destino. So we settle son, entonces nos establecemos in a place en un lugar that troubles us. Que nos molesta, que nos preocupa. Be careful where you plant your roots. Tengan cuidado donde ponen sus raíces. The Bible says that uh, the Lot's daughters La Biblia dice que las hijas de Lot married into Sodom. Se casaron ahí. Even when the Lord, the angels disguised themselves inclusive cuando los Ángeles se disfrazaron. And said, hey, you guys got to get out of here. Y les dijo, ustedes se tienen que salir de aquí. This place is going to be destroyed. Este lugar se va, va a ser destruido. And after many different things happened. Y después de muchas cosas diferentes que pasaron. Finally, Lot leaves Sodom. Por fin se fue Lot de and ahí. He, and he grabs his wife. Y agarró a su esposa. But remember, he dug roots into Sodom. Pero acuérdense, él puso raíces ahí en ese lugar, en Sodoma. His children married into Sodom. Sus hijos, sus hijas se casaron con hombres de ahí. His wife still had emotional attachment to Sodom. Su esposa tenía ese, esa unión a ese lugar. And because of this, she turned around. Y es por eso que ella volteó. And we know the destruction that happened on her life. Y sabemos lo que pasó después. Why do I say this? ¿Por qué digo esto? Abraham had a promise. Abraham tuvo una promesa. He acted. Actuó. He had a plan. Tenía un plan. And he stayed faithful. Y se mantuvo fiel. He saw that promise come to life. Y vio su promesa venir. 
la realidad. Lot had a great example. Lot tenía un gran ejemplo. What faith in the Lord looks like. Lo que, el ejemplo de lo que era tener la fe en Dios. But he, he didn't follow that example. Pero no siguió ese ejemplo. And we see the two different destinations. Y vemos dos destinos bien diferentes. Remember, Abraham said, if you go left, Abraham se fue a la izquierda, then I'll go right. Y Lot se fue a la derecha. Follow the godly examples in your life, church. Your circle shall be filled with godly examples of, of righteousness, of, of someone that loves you. And we're not all perfect, but you need to find someone that you can look up to that says, I don't care what happens. They're going to tell me the truth because they care about me because they don't want me to quit. Acuérdense, su círculo es muy importante. Tan importante que es el que nos, que nos motiva, que nos guía. Don't ignore the examples that God has put in front of you. No ignoren los ejemplos que Dios ha puesto en su vida. We all have spiritual mentors that are around us. Todos tenemos mentores espirituales alrededor de nosotros. It's up to us to grab hold of that. Pero es, nos corresponde a nosotros si los agarramos o no. We all have spiritual examples to grab hold of. Todos tenemos ejemplos espirituales que podemos seguir. It's up to us to stay close to that. Pero es como nosotros decidamos si to, queremos o no. To honor that. Hon honrar eso. To honrarlos. seek that. Buscarlos. Throughout my life, I've had a handful of people. En mi vida yo he tenido personas. And I, and, I, and I know who they are. Y yo sé quiénes son. And I know where to go to. Y, a, y yo sé a dónde van. When I need godly advice. Y yo sé a dónde ir cuando yo necesito un consejo. That are going to tell me the truth. Y sé que van a decirme la verdad. Whether I like it or not. Si me guste o no. Whether I want to hear it or not. Lo quiero escuchar o no. Not yes, men. No solamente sí. They encourage. El que me motiva. And educate. Y el que me educa. I see a handful of them today. Los, yo puedo mirarlos hoy. And, and, I, and I take pride. Y yo soy orgulloso. And I hope. Y yo espero. That I am. Que yo soy a friend un amigo. that will be, be able to tell you que yo sea un amigo que sea capaz de decir, I don't think that's a good idea. No sé si es buena idea decir, there's promise hay promesa, and there's destination. Y hay un destino. Are you on your way? ¿Estás ya caminando? We see the two choices. Miramos dos opciones. We see the two actions Miramos dos acciones. and we see the two plans. Y miramos dos planes. Church, I'm here to encourage you today. Iglesia, están motivados hoy. Don't give up. No se, no se den por vencido. Don't quit. No se vayan. Can we get the worship team up here? Podemos you, traer el equipo de oración. You guys are like, Pastor Rob usually preaches longer than this. <laughs> Pastor Rio would have been finished by now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm somewhere in between. Yeah. Good. Pro Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20 says, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Proverbios uh, 13, 20. Whoever walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. Salmos 1. Says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruits in its season, and, leaves, and its leaves do not wither. In all he does he prospers. The wicked are not so. I want to point out to you that in the verse it says, not like the chaff of the tree. Voy a, uh you see, the wise man si ven un sabio, is like the leaves in the tree. Son las hojas del árbol. Beautiful. Hermoso. They've, they've reached destination. Llegan a su destino. The foolish man Los tontos is like the shaft. Son como una paja. That's, the, that's the wood piece. That's the wood piece. Son como piezas de madera. That breaks off. Yeah. Que se rompen. And flies away. Y vuelan. Has no purpose. No hay, no hay propósito. It's just in the wind. Solamente está en el viento. 
the Bible says that we should be like the tree la Biblia dice que debemos ser como árboles and the leaves y las hojas not like the shaft no como las pajas the Bible says that those who, who seek counsel la Biblia dice que aquellos que miran que ven por consejo of the wise de los sabios will make wise decisions van a hacer sabias decisiones those that don't aquellos que no will make foolish decisions van a hacer decisiones tontas who are you seeking counsel from ¿A quién estás buscando para buscar consejería? Are they friends? ¿A los amigos? Or are they groupies? ¿O a los amiguitos? The counsel that you give. La consejería que tú des. Are you friend? ¿Tú eres el amigo? Or are you groupie? ¿O eres el amiguito? Abraham had a plan. Abraham tuvo un plan. Promise. La promesa. Destination. Y el destino. Father of nations. Padre de naciones. God, you said it. Dios lo dijo. Come on, family, let's go. Vámonos, familia. Let's get there. Vámonos a llegar a nuestro destino. I don't know how you're going to do it. Yo no sé cómo lo voy a hacer. But God, you're going to do it. Pero Dios lo va a hacer. Lot. Lot. Lacked plan. No tuvo su plan. If you don't have a plan. Si tú no tienes un plan. Listen to this. Escuchen bien, por favor. If you don't have a plan. Si tú no tienes un plan. You'll be slave to someone else's plan. Vas a ser esclavo de los planes de alguien más. I stole this from a, a pastor who we were speaking with last week. I seek counsel. Yo busco consejería. I said, I don't know. Yo digo, no sé. What do you think? ¿Tú, tú qué piensas? And he gave me honest feedback. And I, and I listened to that feedback. Y yo escucho lo que me están diciendo. Not a groupie. No cualquier persona. A friend. Un amigo. If you don't have a plan, si tú no tienes un plan, you will be slave to someone else's plan. Vas a ser esclavo del plan de alguien más. What does that mean? Can I step down here or are you going to get mad at me, Matt? Matt, what, that was a thumb? I just want to make sure. <laughs> If the promise is given si la promesa está dada, and I don't have a plan y no tengo plan to get to my destination, para llegar a mi destino, that's my plan. Ese es mi plan. God, you called me. Dios me llamó. God, you said that if I stayed faithful, Dios, tú dijiste, si you, me you will fiel, deliver my family. Tú vas a, a qué Ayudar a mi familia. If you don't have that plan, si tú no tienes ese plan, then whenever something goes wrong, cualquier cosita que vaya mal, you'll go this way. Te vas a ir a un lado. Hey, God, you said that if I was faithful in my tithes, You will open up a storehouse of blessing. Dios, tú dijiste, si yo doy mis diezmos, tú there's, dijiste que vas a abrir los cielos. There's my destination. Ese es mi destino. There's my plan. Ese es mi plan. But if I don't have a plan, Pero si no tengo plan I'll become slave to someone else's. Bueno, entonces soy esclavo del plan so de when alguien. my check is short, entonces cuando, or my hours get cut, cuando el check está corto, no longer am I faithful, ya no estoy fiel, I'm a plan to something else. I'm a slave to something else. Soy esclavo de, del plan de alguien más. You get what I'm getting at? ¿Sí me están entendiendo? If you have a plan, si tienes un plan, you say, I don't care what's happening with everything else. Yo, y tú dices, no me importa lo que está pasando. I'm staying focused on the plan. Yo me mantengo enfocado en el plan. If you have a calling, si tienes un llamado, it doesn't matter what happens with everyone else. No importa lo que pase con you todas stay las faithful personas, on that calling. Tú te quedas enfocado y fiel en esa or you'll promesa, become slave to someone else's plan. O tú te mantienes esclavo de alguien más. Does that make sense, church? ¿Sí le da sentido? First step to planning Cuatro pasos para planear, is identity. Identidad. Identify the plan. Identifico el plan. Identify your purpose. Identifico el propósito. Identify who you are in Christ. Identifiquen quién ustedes son en Cristo. Without those three things, con esas tres cosas, you're slave to everyone else. Sin eso ustedes son esclavos. Because when the wind comes, porque cuando el viento viene, you're the shaft that gets blown away. Son como esa paja que vuela fácilmente. Stand at God's promise while you wait. Estén firmes en las promesas de Dios. The promise, la promesa, the destination. El so, for many people in this room, por mucha gente 
para mucha gente en este cuarto, that promise esa promesa, might be many things. Puede ser muchas cosas. That promise might be family. Esa promesa puede ser una familia. That promise might be ministry. Esa promesa puede ser un ministerio. That promise might be healing. Esa promesa puede ser una sanidad. That, prob that promise might be freedom. Puede ser la libertad. That, pro that promise might be freedom from cancer. Puede ser libertad de cáncer. That promise might be freedom from, from depression. Libertad de la depresión. That promise might be freedom from financial, uh, from financial crippling. Puede ser libertad de... Uh, en sus finanzas. And we're waiting on the destination. Y esperando en a nuestro destino. Don't give up. No se rindan. Stand on God's promise. Manténganse firmes en las promesas Does de Dios. Does your plan because su plan equal God's promise on your life? Es igual a las promesas de, de Dios. If you have no plan, si ustedes no tienen un plan, you will be slaves to someone else's promise. Van a ser esclavos de If you have no plan, si tú no un plan, you will be slave to someone else's destination. Vas a ser de la de otra más. If God said it, si Dios lo dijo, he will deliver it. Lo va a hacer. My God does not lie. On the journey, en la jornada, from promise de la promesa, to destination, al destino, walk it. Camine. I can't stop now. No I, se quede I can't give up now. No me puedo quedar, no me puedo dar por vencido. God has a promise. Dios tiene una promesa. God has a destination. Dios tiene un destino. He has a breakthrough. Él tiene ese rompimiento. Come what may come. Happen what will happen. Si va a pasar, va a pasar. Me and my family Yo y mi familia will stay focused. Vamos a estar enfocados on the promise en la promesa and the destination. y el destino. Let me tell you something. De déjenme decirles algo. For some of us, we might be waiting for years. Algunos de ustedes pueden haber estado esperando por años on the promise en las promesas and the destination. en el destino. Let's stand to our feet. Pónganse de pie. Some of us